MG Rob back with you, and today we are working on the uh, Metropolitan. All right, so during the time that the Metropolitan's been sitting here waiting its turn to get finished, the clutch lace cylinder had been dripping until the master cylinder was completely empty. So once I got the wiring harness finished up, got it running, pushed the clutch, and there was nothing there. So rather than just refilling it, bleeding it, and going with it, the slave cylinder was looking pretty crusty. Um, a little hard to see there, but I mean, the master cylinder itself was looking even worse. So we're replacing those. Now, in the pile of parts that he brought me, he brought me a bunch of stuff that just in case, while I was working on the brakes and everything, he did have a master cylinder in there. So this is the master cylinder he had with the car. He had bought a bunch of stuff just in case. Now, while I was working on it, when I was working on the brakes, he originally bought this for the brakes. Now, I'm not so sure this is actually the correct one for this car for the brakes, but it looked like it was the right one for the clutch. But the problem is the fitting that goes in right up here. Let me go back to the other one. So the fitting that goes in here, that is a deep one that has the shoulder on it just like this, but it had a bubble flare on it where the line had a double flare. Well, they gave this fitting, came with the master cylinder, but that is for a double flare, but for a standard, standard bubble flare, not the old British style, which is very similar to the metric with that little step in it. So you couldn't get enough thread in it. So I had to make a whole new line from scratch. So the line comes up here, comes across, well, actually across here, and then here. So I cut this fitting off and reuse this one off the one end. And then put all new fitting at this end and made the proper flares at both ends. So we decided since we were already doing a clutch master and the clutch slave, he went ahead and had a new hose sent to me as well, since this hose is obviously not all that new. Now this is the early style slave sonar for these cars, and I did not have one of these in stock. I did have a later style one, but I did not have one of these. So in this case, the first thing we want to do is put the hose on and tighten it to the slave cylinder first. In places like Moss, you buy each piece individually. So when you buy a slave cylinder, you got to remember to buy the rod too if you need it. You should always look for wear in here. And there could be some wear in this uh, clevis pin too. Because if there's too much wear in there, there'll be too much slop. Because these things don't move that far, usually about five-eighths of an inch. It doesn't take a lot of slop before you start having trouble getting them into gear. So now I got the old one out. You see that much wear here? And the how much wear there is in that clevis pin? in the rod, that is enough to start having troubles getting them into gear. Especially if you even have the slightest little bubbles of air still in the, master, in the slave cylinder. So it's always a good idea to replace these. And you don't want to forget to put a little bit of grease on here to give it some lubrication so it doesn't wear so quickly. Now in this particular car, this slave center can actually be rotated in any position you want. 
okay? And just like, this is also the same slave center that's on early Triumph Spitfires too. Now, if you turn it this way, it'll be much easier to put a wrench on the bleeder in order to bleed the clutch. But you're gonna have a harder time getting all the air out of it. So if you turn it this way, you'll do much better, it'll be much easier to bleed the clutch and get all the air out of it. But it will be a little harder to get a wrench on it to bleed it. But this is the way it should be done so that you can get all the air out of it. All right, so now we have everything installed. All I should have to do now is just bleed the clutch and we should be good to go on this part.